When you bring in audio tracks inside Logic Pro, sometimes you find that you're not able to move that audio track and it shows a lock symbol on top of that track. And if you're struggling to remove that lock icon and don't really know how to use that icon, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to remove that icon and also going to show you why that is going to be useful in our projects. I'm Florina Jane, otherwise known as Flow of Music, and I put out a lot of videos regarding music production. So if that is something that you like, then hit the subscribe button. So let's get into the video. Now I took an audio sample from the loop and I can already see a lock symbol over here. I want to move it around. I want it to be in bar number two. I click and drag it around. Nope. It's not moving. Maybe it's even coming to another track. That is not the problem, but it's not moving within that track. So if you want to remove that lock icon from this track and you want to move this region anywhere in your track, all you need to do is just right click, come down to edit. And at the bottom, you see SMPTE lock. You are just going to click unlock SMPTE position. Once you select that, the lock symbol is gone. Now you can go ahead and place it wherever you want in a track. Now you might wonder, okay, why is this function even available in Logic? What are you going to do with that function? So I'll tell you when it's going to be useful. Let's imagine you're having multiple vocal layers and every layer is looking like this and you're beginning to edit and cut them around like that and you're placing them in the right timing and so many other edits you've done. Let's say you want to change one region. So now accidentally when you're editing, three of these regions are selected, okay? But you wouldn't know that you're just focusing only on this one track and you feel like this region's timing alone is wrong. So what you're going to do is just click and move it and place it in the right region. But you didn't notice that the other two track also moved. Later on, when you're playing, you will feel like, oh, why is there something out of tempo in this track and this track? So this accidentally happened. OK, so if you don't want that to happen, if you want them to be in the right position, then what you need to do is select all these regions, right click, edit, SMPT lock and lock them up. Let's say I want to do a change here the same way and I accidentally press those two also. When I click and move it like that, those two tracks will not move. They will still stay in that position only. Only this region will move because I didn't lock it. Now this helps a lot in editing. When you're dealing with a lot of audio edits and you cut and remove sections, you have sections and you're editing, you're fading in, fading out and a lot of things with multiple audio tracks, there is a chance where you might move things around and some other track might stay out of tempo and you might even not notice that. Later on, you will notice and it takes time to even go and find out that mistake and rectify it. So that's when this SMPT lock will be really helpful. When you finish editing one track, you can just select all those regions, right click, go to edit and then you can lock it. And that's how you can be sure that even accidentally if some region is selected it will not move from its position it will stay in that place i hope this tutorial clarified your doubt about these locks in audio tracks and if you want to see more tutorials about music production and generally about editing mixing mastering then comment them below do subscribe to my channel like this video so that it will help me to put out a lot more videos like this thank you so much for watching keep making music and i'll see you guys in another video